Welcome to Enhanced Time Training. Today I will show you how to navigate in Enhanced Time and how to use the different features accessible by all hourly employees. If you're an employee that uses Pet Tiger or Movista to log your time, you will not be required to clock in or out through Enhanced Time. All time punches for each of the timekeeping systems will be transferred to Enhanced Time every Monday for the week prior. If you're an employee that uses a time clock to log your time, the time punches on the clock will automatically appear in Enhanced Time. However, you will not have access to clock in or out using the desktop version of Enhanced Time. When accessing Enhanced Time and Attendance during the testing period, you can find the link to Enhanced Time on the ADP homepage under Temporary Enhanced Time link. It will later be integrated under Myself tab, but for now, you can use the link provided. Once you click on the link, you will be prompted to enter a username and password. Once you're logged in, the first thing you'll see is the home workspace. In the workspace, you'll see two different widgets, the ATK Time Review and ATK My Timestamp. A quick note, if you're a non-management salary employee, you will have a similar home screen apart from the clock in or out options shown under My Timestamp. In the ATK Time Review, you can view most of your recent punches as well as your assigned schedule. This, for example, is an office employee with a regular 8 to 5 schedule. And you can view all the recent time punches as well as the daily total. You can filter to view an older pay period, previous pay period, current pay period, and you can view your daily approval. Underneath, you'll be able to see audits, any changes done to your time card, and total. So currently, this employee is showing red markings on their time cards. If you hover over each of those markings, you can see why the red marking is there. These are called exceptions. For this one, for example, it states early, which means that the employee clocked out early when their regular schedule is 8 to 5. This other one says bonus applied. So this one means that the employee was applied a meal penalty because they did not take a lunch. They, only, they are only showing an 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. punch time. This one is a missed in punch. Another early punch, early punch, meal penalty, and missed punch. So you'll notice that for any early or late punches, it will not mark you if you are seven minutes before, seven minutes or less before your, the start of your shift. If it is greater than seven minutes, then it will mark you an exception. For example, on Tuesday, November 29th, the employee clocks in five minutes before their start shift time. However, it does not give them an exception. An employee can also use this widget to review and approve their time punches on either a daily or weekly basis. However, it is recommended to approve through my time card widget, which we will demonstrate later in the video. In the ATK timestamp, you will see the option to start shift, meal punch, or end shift. For California employees only, when the employee clocks out, there will be a set of attestation questions in both English and Spanish to answer before the punch is complete. The first question is, were you allowed to take all your 10 minute paid breaks today? You answer yes and press submit. Second question is, have you been injured today? You would answer no and put submit. 
So the reason that the reason that I was not asked about my meal punch was because there is currently no meal punch for this day. If there were, it would ask me the question if I took a 30-minute lunch today. What we will review next are the employee time off requests under my calendar. So to view your other widgets, you can click on the arrow pointing to the left above the globe icon and it will expand the menu where you can see all other stored widgets that you have access to. If you click on my calendar and drag it to the home screen, you will have a calendar view which you can change to day, week, or month. Or if you would like to filter on specific views only, you can view your calendar by holidays, time off requests, work time requests, etc. Please note that all time off requests will be done electronically through either a time clock, the ADP mobile app, ADP desktop, or by using a tablet if provided at the facility. If you would like to view only my calendar on the primary screen, to close the other widget, you can click on the gear on the top right and select close. To request time off, you can select on the date shown on the calendar or you can click on the icon on top saying request time off. You can edit the dates on here. The type of request that you'll have is time off fixed. If you wanted to enter multiple dates, you can edit the start and end time. The pay code, which you can select from, will be shown here. If you are a part-time or seasonal employee, you should not see the vacation code. You should only see sick pay code. Time unit is hours. You can enter your start time, which would be 8 a.m. for this employee. And your daily amount would be eight hours. If the employee has selected multiple days, please be aware that you do not need to enter the total amount of hours here. This is only for the daily amount. Underneath, you'll see that you can view your accruals as of today's date or as of a later date. You also have the option to add a note to your time off request. Once you're ready, you can click Submit. Now you can see that the time off request has been added to the calendar for those days. If you hover over, you can see that it is vacation, eight hours of vacation from eight to four. If you later then would like to cancel it, you can right click on the request and put cancel request. You can also open the request by double clicking and it will show you the details of that request. If you have other time off requests, you can view those as well. This employee, for example, has time off in January. So I will go to the calendar icon here, filter by a date range, and select Apply. Here you can see different symbols associated with each time off request. The first one shows a check mark in a green box, which means the time off request has been approved, and which is also why the vacation bar is showing here. You can see that the regular shift has been adjusted to 12, from 12 p.m. to 5 p.m. instead of the regular 8 to 5 because the employee has requested four hours of vacation for this day. Right below it, you see that the employee has also requested time off from January 11 through 13, eight hours each day, and these have not been approved yet. The one below it shows 
a green box with an X and a line under it. This means that the employee has canceled the request. They have retracted the request. You can double click and open the details for this as well. Next, we will review My Time Card widget. If I go under the globe menu, click on My Time Card, and move it over to the home screen. Let's go ahead and close the calendar widget. So on this screen, very similar to ATK My Time Review, you'll see your time card detail. And again, you can filter by using the drop down on the right for previous pay period, current pay period, next pay period. And you can also scroll down to see different options. If you would like specific, a specific date range, you can click on the calendar icon and set the dates on here as well. You have the option to view your time card with only days with exceptions by clicking on this option. And you cannot make any edits to your time card. So if you're not ready to approve, you can send a screenshot to your manager and they will be able to view and fix your time card. Once you see that your time card is ready to be approved, you can click on approve time card. And once you approve, your time card will then turn color orange. If you realize later that a correction was not fixed, you can go back and remove time card approval. This still will not let you make edits, but it will it will mark it as unapproved and then your supervisor can fix it so that you can reapprove your time card. Underneath your time card, you'll view a total tab which shows totals by pay code. Next, the accruals tab, which will show any time off balances available for you to use. A historical corrections tab and an audits tab. The audits tab will show you any changes done to your time card and which user made those changes. If you would like to view only your audits, on the home screen, you can go to the globe menu, click on my audit, and drag it over to the home screen. Here you can view the full list and you can filter by type of audit, type of corrections made. You can also sort the columns by clicking on the title of the column. Next, if you drag my report onto the main screen, you'll see that you have three different reports available for you, the schedule report, time detail, and my accrual balances and projections. When you click on the report, a description on the side will pop up of what exactly the report entails. To run a report, you click on the report, you select a time period, and then click View Report. The schedule report will give you your assigned schedule and total hours. To go back, you click on Return. The Time Detail report will show you your time card information, including any exceptions added to your time card, your total hours of work, and the total hours by pay code at the very bottom. Click on return. The last report, you can set it to a specific date. If you view it as of today's date, click on view report. 
and this will show you any balances you have or any projected balance if you select a later date. The next thing we can review is my inbox widget. So in the messaging inbox, you can see any notifications regarding your time off request, whether they were approved or if they were submitted. You can also create a new message. And you can reply to any of these to a notification as long as it's not listed under your name. Lastly, if you view the top of your screen, you'll see there are five alerts. If you click on the exclamation mark, it'll show you all your notification requests or all notifications regarding your time off request. If you'd like to view them on the screen, you click on view all. And the alerts and notifications widget will pop open. So here, if you click on one of the requests, it will take you to the calendar widget where you can be your time off request and make any changes as needed. To go back to the home screen, you can click on X to close these additional tabs. And then you can close it or you can set it back to the screen you prefer to see. And that is all for today's training. Thank you very much.